you've heard of Zenith, then you know that they make some of the best watches available. Their movement, the El Primero, is truly revolutionary and is what keeps them at the top of every watch enthusiast's mind. So you can imagine my excitement when I was invited by Wingwa Watch Penang to review this model, the Zenith Grande Class Traveler Multi City, and boy was I caught unprepared. Now, if this watch looks a little big on your screen, that's because it is. Measuring at 46mm in diameter with a height of 17mm, it is a massive watch by normal standards. And that is a shame because guys, I'll be honest, this was love at first sight for me. It has a masterfully crafted dial, an open heart design, an inner and outer bezel, and so much more. Sadly, I didn't even need to try it on to know that it's simply too big for my puny sized Asian wrist. Since this is a multi-city world timer device, the Grande Class Traveler has a need for not one, but two crowns. The one at 3 o'clock has the standard function which allows you to change the date and the time, while the one at 10 o'clock, well, that's a little bit more special. Before I get into that, let's explore the amazing dial and its features first. The watch is encased in gorgeous stainless steel. It looks good, very shiny and reflective, but it's an absolute magnet for smudges and fingerprints. My advice to you guys is to always have a microfiber cloth handy so that you can wipe it every now and then to keep it shiny. Now we move on to the inner bezel which is the ring with all the names of the cities. When you align your preferred city at 12 o'clock, you'll be able to know what time it is in 24 other different locations around the globe. The sun and star indicator will also tell you whether it's night or day in that particular city. To move the bezel, you only need to turn the crown at 10 o'clock. The crown felt a bit tight while I was turning it but that could be due to the weight of the mechanism behind it. The Zenith Grande has a Grain Dior Guiloche dial. Pretty exotic name and refers to the way the lines and shapes are made on the dial to form an eye-popping design. This type of dial isn't unusual for Zenith and other watch brands of the same level, but you'll be hard pressed to find similar dials in lower end brands. Then of course you have the gorgeous open heart design showing what else? The heart of the watch itself, the El Primero Calibre 4037. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I really enjoy it when I can see a watch with an open case bag. It's very satisfying to me to be able to see when a watch is able to move and tick the way it does. And this watch definitely does not disappoint. Alright, time for a quick history lesson. The name El Primero, when translated from Spanish, simply means the first. It is the first high beat movement in the world with 36,000 beats per hour. It was so powerful that even Rolex used their movements in their Daytonas between 1989 to the year 2000. Naturally, these Daytonas, reference 16520, have a little bit more collectible value than the current line of Daytonas. And last but not least, one of the El Primero's most iconic designs is the open heart dial. Personally, I like the way the watch looks. It has a huge dial with more than enough details to fill up all that space. Uh, if you take the time to study it, you'll see so many details that it could make your head spin. There's obviously a lot going on here and can easily overwhelm the standard watch geek. I also don't see how anyone who travels a lot would really need to use the multi-city function, but it definitely looks cool on the watch itself. This magnificent watch is supported entirely by this equally amazing alligator strap, which looks and feels great. It's very smooth and soft, which helps the watch accommodate to your wrist a little better. It also comes with a heavy duty triple folding clasp to secure the watch properly to your wrist at all times. When you have a watch this size, you definitely don't want it to freely swing around or move around on your wrist because A, it would annoy the heck out of me and B, with a watch this size, you're bound to get it snagged on door handles or worse, chipped against tables or sharp surfaces. So being a Zenith El Primero watch, there really isn't anything that's wrong with it. It's reliable, it's accurate, it adds a multi-city function which isn't always commonly found, but I don't see how travelers would be actively using it all the time. Uh, then of course it has that famed El Primero movement built inside. The only real complaint I would have is the busyness of the dial which I feel is a love or hate kind of thing. Uh, then of course, the 46mm size means that you're gonna need some pretty big size wrists to wear it. And as you can see, that doesn't include myself. Okay guys, so this watch was a blast to review all thanks to Wingwa Watch Penang. 
If you're in the area, definitely drop by and try it on. Who knows, it might even look great on you. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next Sunday for another awesome review. Kanang Watch Guy, out.